help for question one using and understanding Cavallari's principle. All right, what are we talking about? Well, let's look at it, this example. Notice you've got three pictures of CDs, right? First, on the left hand side, they're all nice and straight. You get a bunch of right angles going and it looks good. But in the middle one, somebody kind of pushed it over and then on the far right one, they've really pushed it over. Will these two stacks of CDs have the exact same volume? Well, we, did we change anything? All we did was slid them to the side. Well, guess what? As long as the base and the height or the altitude, it's really the altitude, is exactly the same, guess what? The volume does not change. Okay, so how are we going to use that? Let's look at the problem that you had on your paper. Well, it's going to be close. We have two cones, cone A and cone B, right? Notice the S there on the left hand side of A. That's your slanted height. We do not want that. We want H, which is your altitude. It's coming off at a right angle, okay? So we are given two cones with the same height and radius. What are those? If the radius is 5 and the height is 12, will you have the same volume? We have to prove this algebraically. So let's do it. Okay, how can I find the volume of object A? Well, it's a cone. There's my formula. The base, which is pi r squared, times the height, and don't forget, we have to take one third of it. All right, we were told that the radius is five and the height is 12, plug it in, okay? I'm gonna square the, the five and I'm gonna multiply through by the three. That's what I have now. I'm gonna put all the top into the calculator. That's what I get. Because I'm using pi, my volume is now an approximation, okay? Divide by three there's a volume. Well, you knew how to do that, didn't you? Well, what about B? How can we find the volume of B? Well, guys, it's the exact same formula. You got to be kidding. No, all right, it's the exact same formula. The radius is still 5, the height is still 12, or your altitude is still 12. You're going to plug it in. Do I work it exactly the same way? Yes. All right, do you understand that the slanted cone has the same volume as a right cone if the radius and the altitude is the same? Why do we cover this idea? Well, believe it or not, this is a concept that you're going to be using in calculus, okay? What could you have done wrong? Did you use the altitude and the radius? Remember, don't use the slant height, especially on the EOCT. Be careful on that. And did you use the correct formula? I hope that helped. Go back, do the problem again.